A few weeks ago, I showed you how to make passion fruit liqueur, and today we're going to be using it in a delicious drink inspired by Brazil's second most famous cocktail, which is called the Batida. So just like the Caipirinha, which is Brazil's most famous cocktail, this uses cachaça as its base, and we're going to be pairing the passion fruit with coconut and a little bit of coffee to make a really easy, refreshing and simple drink, perfect for sipping in the sun. So without further ado, let's make the coffee Batida. All right, welcome back to the Coffee Cocktail Channel, everyone. I'm Dan Fellows, and today we're gonna to be making a coffee batida. And the question I can hear you asking is, what is a batida? So batida translates into Portuguese, which is spoken in Brazil, as milkshake or shaken. And it's a shaken drink or a blended drink with three key characteristics, cachaça, fruit, and sugar. And today we're gonna to be bringing some really complementary flavors together to make our own version of the coffee batida. So within those three key ingredients, you get a lot of variation, and we often find exotic and tropical flavors such as passion fruit, pineapple, coconut, and mango being explored, often with a little bit of lime to balance out the acidity. And then there's quite often a creamy element, which brings that really nice texture and mouthfeel to the drink, which we're also gonna to incorporate today. So ingredients-wise, we're going with cachaça, coconut milk, passion fruit liqueur, coffee saccharum liqueur, or your favorite coffee liqueur, and a little bit of saline solution. And then we're gonna garnish with fresh passion fruit, and a little bit of toasted coconut. Although we could blend the drink if you want that kind of slushy texture, I don't want to do that. We're going to shake it today so we get a nice kind of cleaner texture served over crushed ice at the end of the drink. We're going to start with 50 mils of aged cachaça and this is our base spirit to the drink. So cachaça is the most popular spirit in Brazil and it has two real key differences to rum which a lot of people compare it to. The first of which being cachaça has to be made in Brazil whereas rum can be made anywhere in the world and the second being cachaça is made with fresh sugarcane juice, whereas rum tends to be made with molasses, which is a byproduct of sugar production. This has a big impact on the flavor differences between the two, with cachaça tending to be more grassy, a little bit more raw and astringent, whereas rum has those deeper, sweeter, more caramel notes, both of which are delicious, just with very different end characteristics. I like to use a cachaça that's been aged in this drink, just because it really nicely ties in with the coffee that we're gonna add later. The first fruit element of the drink is 50 mils of coconut milk. And this will also give us that really nice creamy texture. And then to this, we're gonna add 25 mils of our homemade passion fruit liqueur. So I'm using the quicker version, but the slower version will also work really well. And this is pre-balanced, so we don't need to add any lime juice to the drink. We're gonna add 25 mils of coffee saccharin liqueur, which is another homemade ingredient made using leftover espresso pucks, which if you don't know how to make, you can click just up here. And then to finish the drink, we're gonna add one gram of saline solution. This just really nicely ties all the ingredients together essentially seasoning the drink. And then we're just gonna give this a quick shake over ice. So that was actually a very quick shake, probably five or six seconds. I don't wanna overly dilute the drink. I just wanna mix it together and chill it down. But because we're gonna serve the drink over crushed ice, we don't wanna to add too much dilution. We're gonna strain this over our crushed ice. Add our straw, garnish with half a passion fruit, and just finish with a little bit of toasted coconut, which adds a little bit of crunch to our passion fruit and ties together the delicious flavors. And there we have, my friends, the coffee batida. Let's give this one a try. It looks good. It's a perfect poolside, delicious summery drink. Really refreshing, a little bit creamy, but just a really nice texture. It's got loads of those really nice tropical notes. The passion fruit comes through, the coconut, and also the toasted coconut on top really kind of brings another dimension to the drink. And it's extremely well balanced. It doesn't need any sugar added into this just because it's got plenty of natural sweetness from the other ingredients. And that is the coffee batida. A very, very refreshing drink. And if it's hot where you are, I strongly recommend giving this a go. If you do so, make sure you tag me on Instagram at danfellows1 or let me know how it goes in the comments below. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking just here. And if you like coffee or cocktails or bringing the two together, I'll put more videos for you to enjoy just here and just here. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.